today is the day. Got some metal cloak stuff to install on the Jeep. I'm sure you're wondering why I have a giant wrench. I don't have a good answer to that. I guess it's about the size of my thigh. This is what happens when you buy something on Amazon without measuring. So today, lower control arms, rear track bar, and two new box shocks. So we already have originally installed a rough country four inch lift. We had installed it probably about four years ago. And they're still on there and they're definitely due to be changed. Um, they wore out pretty quick and they've just been bad. We're slowly changing out. We already changed the front to metal cloak, all new control arms. We've just been working on slowly swapping so that everything's over to metal cloak and this will be pretty much the last of it. We already upgraded the front and rear coils to four and a half inch metal cloak dual rate coils front and rear. Front is metal cloak lower and upper control arms, their drop bracket, their track bar. So we're just going to do the same back here, get it all back in order. I'll try and compare the Rough Country control arms and what style they are and everything that we take off today to the metal cloak uh, suspension parts. That way you can kind of see a difference in what they look like. So let's get started. So I don't know if you can tell, but on the old Rough Country control arms, right from the start, they designed them so they don't even fit straight uh, where it mounts and the bolt goes through. The arm kind of angles out of where the axle sits. If we follow it up here, it's kind of hard to see, but you have a major angle up at the heim joint on the frame connection too, so that that joint always sits at an angle right at ride height. Just thought I'd share that before we put the metal cloak on and we'll kind of do a comparison after they're on in the same spot. So what he's doing right now, he's gonna unscrew the control arm. We're just adding some extra anti-seize to the threads and then we'll put it back together and then it's ready to go when we're ready to install them that way if we do need to adjust which we will in the future because i've got a couple more things i'm going to be changing uh, we can easily adjust the control arms to get um, our drive shaft angle correct again so here's a comparison of the Rough Country versus the new Metal Cloak arms. As you can see, this is the lower control arm. So it's fairly similar as far as tube diameter. Um, the big difference would be in the joints. So in the Rough Country, it's a standard um, press-in type bushing on the end. And then down at this end is a type of heim joint. So on the metal cloak, both the joints are the same on each end, so it's ease of replacement. It's their flex joints, so it's just got a snap ring. When they do need maintenance or repair or replacement, it's just a matter of taking the snap ring off and replacing the joints, whereas the rough country, you got two different setups. Those have to be pressed out on the one end. The other end, you have to get a kit and take them apart, clean them, replace the parts, and they are fairly costly. So here's the other rear lower control arm. This one has actually had come apart. This is the one making all the noise. Uh, 
see the clip fell apart. It's, it was just kind of hanging around. Yeah, that's how it was. And just so you can see, all that's holding that is a thin piece of plastic holding the joint with grease. These do not last and they're expensive to replace. This is just Rough Country's version. All right, so here is the upper rear control arm comparison. Rough Country black, metal cloak, the gold. Uh, this end and the threads, a lot more strength there, you can tell. This is super tiny compared to that. This heim joint shot. Heim joint in here. It's really small. Much bigger. Same joints once again on each end. Big difference. And here we have the replacement shocks going from the Rough Country to the Fox. Here's the stock track bar for the rear going to the Metal Cloak adjustable track bar for the rear. Here's the comparison with the new rear control arms on. Now it's perfectly straight where it bolts up to the axle and up on the frame. It's centered, it's straight, there's no angle or no bind on the joints. Much better. So there we have all the old parts, Rough Country control arms, Rough Country shocks, and it was a stock rear track bar. Now we can go to, here's the Fox shocks. The rear track bar. the control arms I think the hardest part was fighting the flag nut on the right side for the upper rear control arm